Hi artists! So I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day and you are ready for some art lessons this week. Last week we were talking about calligraphy, which is the art of beautiful handwriting. Before the stores closed, I picked up this book called Creative Lettering Companion by Jenny Doe. And in the book, she has some really fun ideas for different ways to write words. Some are really out of the box, creative. You can see this one has a ladder in it where the first part of each letter has a ladder built in. But I'm gonna show you three of mine that are my favorite. So we're gonna start with highlighted and doodled. So to do this calligraphy, you are going to for sure need paper, a highlighter, and a darker marker. I'm also going to use a pencil and ruler to help keep my word nice and even. Some of you might be wondering, what can I write for my calligraphy? Some good ideas would be like your name, could be a favorite word that you have, Maybe you have a favorite book and there's a sentence in the book that you really like and you want to write that out. I'm going to write the word inspire. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line lightly towards the bottom of my paper. I'm going to erase this line when I'm all done. This is just to help keep my word even. Now if I'm taking a look at the book, you can see there's all these different types of lines and patterns in the words. So for the letter I, maybe I want to draw all stripes in my letter. Maybe then in the letter N, I want to do swirls, polka dots, do some little lines. I could do little flowers. I'm going to fill up the whole letter D with all these little ovals. And lastly, I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to erase that line at the bottom. I got this really cool electric eraser online um, and I've been having a blast with it because you just press down the button and it spins and it erases. A regular eraser would work just fine too. Alright, so I have my first one done. I'm going to keep it to the side. Going back to the book, we are going to take a look at our next type of calligraphy. We are going to do connect the dots. So if we take a look at the page here, you can see the first word is filled with just dots. And then we will start connecting those dots with little lines. Using my ruler, I'm going to make a straight line again towards the bottom. And I'm going to use a marker again to write out my word first. I know that the sample shows it just in black and white, but I really liked how that color popped out behind my word. So the pink that's showing, and I want to do that again. And I'm going to write the word friends. I'm going to make my first letter, a really big capital letter, and I'm using the side of my marker to get it thicker. And then I'm going to write the rest of the word in slightly smaller capital letters. There we go. So I have the word friends written. I'm going to go in with my Sharpie now, and I'm going to do some polka dots inside 
my letter. I'm not doing too many because I know then I would have to connect them all. When you're doing the polka dots, be kind to your Sharpie or your marker. If I push straight down too hard, I'm going to ruin the point of the marker. Okay, so I have all my polka dots drawn. Now for a younger student or even older students that are happy with how the polka dots look, you could just leave your word at this and erase the line but I wanna show you how to connect the dots so it looks like our sample. So for each dot, I am going to draw it connecting to another dot. I might have three lines coming off of the same dot. You may find that you need to add a couple dots on some of your letters. All right, last part is to erase the line on the bottom. All right, and there is my connect the dot. Okay, so to draw my ribbon, I'm first going to draw a frown on top. I'm going to come down the sides and I'm going to connect the sides with another frown on bottom. To do the part of the ribbon that is tucked behind the center part, I'm going to start in a little bit, so not right on the corner, but in a little bit. I'm going to go down and I'm going to draw towards the outside. Then I'm going to take, come back, make like a triangle, and go back. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Start in a little bit, go down, I'm going to draw to the outside of my paper. I'm going to come back like I'm cutting out a triangle of the end of the ribbon and connect it down. Last little part to make it look more realistic is I'm going to go from this point on an angle to the other point. So I'm drawing from this point, that corner, to this point, and I'm going to draw a straight line. And there you go. So I'm going to write one of my favorite quotes on this piece of calligraphy. A quote is something that somebody else either said or wrote and that you really like or that you connect with, maybe you agree with it. So my favorite quote is Creativity Takes Courage by Henry Matisse. So I'm going to write Creativity Takes Courage up here and then Henry Matisse down below. You can see in the sample hear how this artist, she printed in all capital letters in the ribbon, and then she wrote in some cursive down below. If you don't know cursive, that's okay. You don't have to use cursive. It is your choice if you do want to use cursive with calligraphy. And I am printing as neatly as possible. Since there's three words, I'm going to have the first word over here on the side, I'm going to write the middle word in the middle of my ribbon. And I'm going to write the last word on the side. And then down below, I'm going to draw this little swirl. Just add a little detail. Okay, so I'm going to write Henry Matisse down below. Using my ruler, I'm going to make a straight line. And in cursive, I'm choosing to write his name. After I have written everything in pencil, I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace everything. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not going to trace that straight line at the bottom because that was just to help me keep the name level. So I'm going to erase that part. I'm going to erase any other lines that I see showing. I don't want any pencil marks remaining. And now I can have some fun. Either I can stop here, leave my calligraphy like this, or I can choose to go back and add some different colors. So I think I'm actually going to grab some watercolors and I'm going to paint in the ribbon a really fun color. Okay, so I have my watercolors and I am going to paint the ribbon part. I'm going to paint the sides darker. You could do this with crayon, you could do this with marker, but if you have watercolor, it might be kind of fun to use that for your calligraphy. So I'm going lighter in the middle. I think I'm going to do a little bit of orange in the middle. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of purple on the sides. Makes it look like there is a shadow. Lastly, I think I'm going to do some polka dots down below. I'm going to show you one last idea for your calligraphy project. For those of you that watch the Met Kids video on Islamic calligraphy, you saw a Sultan's insignia. So that was basically a king's signature. I'm going to create my own signature that I could use if I were, let's say, a queen. I'm going to use my three initials, which are L, M, and N, and I'm going to write them really big and fancy. If you know cursive, this might be a fun time for you to try a little bit of cursive. If you don't, just make your letters as pretty as you would like. So I'm going to write my first initial, which is an L. And I loved how in the calligraphy video, I had the letters overlapping. So my second one was M. And then I am going to write the letter N. I'm going to take my Sharpie. And it's okay if my Sharpie doesn't follow my line exactly because I'm going to go back and erase all that when I'm done. And then I think in between I'm going to do some stripes. I'm liking how that's looking. I think I'm going to do some polka dots inside my L. Lastly, I'm going to erase any pencil marks I don't want. I'm going to show you one last trick for this insignia. Right now my paper is really bright white and I want to make it look really old and ancient. So I'm going to put my picture on top of something to protect my surface. So I have paper towel underneath, you could use newspaper. And I heated up a little bowl of water and put a tea bag in there. Ask your parents if this is first okay for you to do, and then ask them to help you. So I'm gonna take the tea bag. I've waited for it to cool off so it's safe for me to touch. And I can put the tea bag on my paper to stain it brown. This makes the paper look a lot older. While my paper is wet, I am going to actually crumple it up. I'm going to completely crumple up my paper, open it up, lay it flat, and I'm going to do the tea bag one more time.
The tea bag will only work with thicker paper. So you would only want to do this if you have a sketchbook or a pad of heavier paper. If your paper is too thin, it is not going to be able to absorb the water or the tea and it's just going to fall apart. So I'm gonna let this dry. I could either use a hair dryer to speed it up or I could let it air dry. Okay, and then here are the four different types of calligraphy that we did together today. So you can do one or as many as you would like. Can't wait to see what you make on Seesaw.